Hi, I'm Wendy and I'm the set designer for the theatre show A Meal and the Detectives. We're just going to have a little chat about the creative development process when we're making a new show. Now the creative development process is when we get all the creatives together in a room. The creatives are set designer, costume designer, lighting designer, composer, the playwright who writes the play, and most importantly, the director. We started with the book. We all read the story of Emile and the Detectives. And then the director gives us some provocations, some questions to fill out those ideas. So when we looked at the town that Emile came from, we talked about, well, who are the people that live in that town? What makes that town the place that it is? Here's a copy of some of my things. I said, oh, the butcher doesn't eat meat. Schoolboy Jack lost his pants when he went swimming in the river and had to run home with his shirt on upside down as pants. So we just created this whole backstory of all the things that could possibly be happening in Newtown. One of the really interesting things that we did was that we went on a train trip and we had to observe out of the window. We had to not talk to each other. We actually had to sit in different carriages and imagine ourselves as if we were going to the city for the first time. What I love about the creative development part is the opportunity just to experiment. There's a sense of freedom, just being allowed to have that imagination. And then later we find the ways of making them really, really work. I spent lots of time just getting senses of what this place is. And so I drew a map, a very sort of childlike map that you often find in children's books. Other things that I was just playing with, I just great to be able to get onto some charcoal and draw this idea. Here's Emile heading towards the city on his train trip. So the creative process is quite a messy room. There's lots of activity and all sorts of action happening. We had great big brown sheets of paper on the wall and we summed up all those ideas. And so in a way we started to make the scenes. So we've got well, what's happening in the opening and, and what's happening at Newtown and then what happens on the train. And this really started to inform how the story would begin to be told. So at the end of the creative development, we don't have a script per se, but that's the point where we've done all this thinking and sharing of ideas and the playwright goes away and then she's come up with our script. It's kind of exciting to then see it all come to the page. The creative development process is so important to the show coming to life. We make all those discoveries, but we also have been working together collaboratively and it puts us in the same mindset. And so that as we all bring our individual parts together, it builds and grows this whole new show. Mm -hmm.